Hello friends, welcome back to 2 and 20, the weekly series where I try to make two cards in 20 minutes. So this week, I'm going to use this uh, floral set again that was from New Toy Tuesday, because I love it. <laughs> We're going to use a little bit of a Bow Bunny pattern paper, isn't that pretty? And we're going to work on two craft uh, A2 top fold cards. So, I think I'm going to get my stamp in the positioner and we'll get going. Okay, Lucky is in here supervising. First thing I need to do is cut down my papers, which I didn't get the dies out. I'm just going to cut them the old fashioned way. Totally should have got the dies out. Okay, my head's probably there. Sorry if it is. So we'll do four and an eight by, I want that pink. I'm in a quarter. And I don't think this is going to be wide enough to get four and eight. So these are not going to be exactly the same. Okay, so it'll be four by five. So they're going to be slightly different. That was loud. Okay, so this one, since it's by five, we'll make it four and three quarters. This is why those dies are handy. Okay, because I can never remember what I say I measured. Never ever ask my husband. Four, so three and three quarter. So this will layer, and I'm going to rough up the edge too. But I think maybe I want to see a little more of that. So let's trim that a little more. We'll do three and a half. By four and three quarter. That's such pretty bow bunny paper. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be better. And this one is what? Five by four. Okay. So. Oh, it didn't have to trim that. Three and three quarter. Excuse my rich. Sure, we got a decent amount of this pretty paper showing here. So, I want to cut that one down a little more, but this one's good. Helps if you put them on the right thing, I guess, doesn't it? Okay, nope, they're good. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. That's what I like to say. All right. Flipping stuff all over the place, aren't I? Okay, so we're gonna use our good old edge distressor. And kind of rough these up a little bit. There we go. I picked up another new toy today. Best thing, I even got it used. So I got it super cheap. I'm late to a specific bandwagon, but you know, like I say, I'm a crafter on a budget, you. And I was thinking maybe I would finally, since I feel like at this point it is something I would use a lot. Um, give in and buy this thing and then lo and behold my phone was listening to me because this thing came up on facebook marketplace for 30 dollars and when you see what it is you're gonna be like 
Oh my gosh, how did you get that for $30? I'm very excited. That's going to be my new Toy Tuesday probably next week, I think. I need to play with it a little bit to make sure I'm using it correctly. So y'all need to tune in for that. New Toy Tuesday. Alright, distress, distress, distress. Distress, distress. There we go. Look at that. And then I want to do a little edging with Distress Ink, and I'm going to use the Foam Blender. I'm going to rough it up a little bit, grunge it up a little bit. All right, you. Stick. Oh, did you guys see? Um, Ranger is discontinuing, retiring the original flat foams. So if you like those flat ones better, you better um, stock up on them because they're going to soon be no more. Which I prefer the dome anyway. I never, Tim Holtz always made it look so easy and I always felt so stupid because I could never, even with all his tips and tricks, I could never get a good blend with the flat ones. Um, but once these domed ones came out, whew, much better for me. But I really, I tend to gravitate toward um, blending brushes at this point. Especially if I'm stenciling, because the stencils really eat the foam up. They're really hard on it. go. Yes, I want these to be a little grungy. Do a little around this guy too. There we go. We went to Tennessee last week to see our son and his girlfriend and the grandbaby. They had a really nice visit. They live in the middle of nowhere, so it's not like we went and did a whole lot of stuff, but we had a nice visit. And we even, um, we flew home out of Nashville. So we went to Nashville, did a little stuff there, went to the Hard Rock, cause I'm a Hard Rock loving girl. And uh, we just had a really nice, nice time. Okay, now, Put this in here. And yes, I know there's ink on there, but I don't care. Put this here. We're gonna use this lovely stamp again. Cause I just, listen, I love this stamp. And I think on this one, I pulled this out of the die cut stash. So maybe if we can go about there and that will, see that's why I didn't care about my boo-boo cause it'll cover it up. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to move this up a little, though. And we're just going to stamp with, you guessed it, Jet Black Archival. Because that's how I roll. Let me tell you, I was so glad to get the ring for this poor pad. <laughs> it was not happy with me. All right. Let me give it a little... A little love there. I'm gonna do one more. I don't think it really needs it, but just to make my heart happy. Ah, lovely. I'm gonna put this one in. Let's see what we like. Like this one, I will give a little more the image we'll go that way pick it up dun, dun, dun. I'm going to color this image with um, pastel pencils 
Let it just be soft, kind of like this Bow Bunny paper. There we go. That's going to be lovely. Yes. Yes, it is lovely. All right. Move baby out of the way. Sorry for my reach. This one goes out here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Do we want some splatter? I think we do. I'll be back. Splatter would be a good idea. There we go. I made a bit of a mess there, didn't I? It's all right. Just wipe it up. Go. I'll lighten that one up a little. Oh, look at that. All right. So this is going to have our sentiment for this card. So I want to ink it a little bit. And then we will switch to the darker. So we're using Ground Espresso. And of course, Vintage Photo, because that's my favorite brown in all the land. There we go. Yes. And look, oh, look how pretty that's going to be. That right on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick, stick, stick. it on our top fold A2 card. Make sure that's going the way I want it. Oh no, don't stick to my glass mat. Thank you. I don't want you there. <laughs> relatively straight. My new glasses haven't arrived yet. Okay. There's that one. And then this one. Can't stick the two pieces together because there's something I want to do to that one. So. Look at it. Oh, it's such pretty paper. There's a new line of Bow Bunny at Joann's right now that is, um, pretty gorgeous. I didn't buy it when I was in there because I bought um, something else, but I kind of wish I had now. Okay. So our sentiment, let's see. Best wishes. Hey there. Oh, hey there. Yeah, let's see hay there. And I brought over a little block. There we go. And we're going to use, you guessed it, Jet Black Archival. Hay there. And let's see. Let's put it. put some of this gold string behind this here. And find the end of it. This is um, DMC floss. I'm going 
do a little bit of this back here. I need some tape. Now, since this isn't a scrapbook page, I can just use regular old tape and it'll be fine. My pink flamingo. <laughs> I'm a child. All right, where'd my string go? Yeah. Well, if y'all see where it went, put it in the comments. I'll be interested to see if anybody saw where it went. Because I did not. <laughs> All right, so let's do, let's do this. I'm going to just tape it on. Snip a snip. Another piece of tape. I'll get this last that I cut off on there. There. Oh, look at that. Now that's cool. That's a funky mixed media card right there. Let's get this on. I'm going to use bear glue since I have that tape back there. Not sure how I feel about putting tape upon tape, so just do this. Bear glue. Okay. Now this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, but on the back of this um, paint hole pan. So let's cut us some thread here and a piece of tape. She was not expensive. She was a dollar. Before it was a dollar twenty-five. She was a dollar. <laughs> now it's a dollar twenty-five tree. I realize, but she only cost a buck. And I actually was in line. And I saw somebody else with it. I'm like, oh, where is that? <laughs> Bobblehead grandson will tell you. What's Mimi's favorite color? It's pink. He knows. He knows the drill. I just heard Sam groan. There we go. I'll cut this off here. my loose one out. There it is. Hi, Sam. Sam's coming in. Hi, buddy. And this one will go like this with also some bare glue since I have tape on the back of it. I think I'm going to have to order some more bare glue. I'm about out. Hi, buddy. My boy's hanging out. All right. Sorry if my head's there. There we go. And then to color these, I just have some pastel pencils.
I'm just going to do a very loose amount of color. And just blend it in with the stump. And my stump is not even clean. Just very soft and almost painterly. This is such a sweet little stamp. If they were to uh, release it larger, maybe in a wood mounted version, I would buy it. I just really like it. this other orange now these are inexpensive pastel pencils they're favorite pastels so they're not uh, you know super pricey super super duper ones but they work for all the more often I use them and I actually had purchased them to use over watercolor paint um, which is a neat effect sometimes do a watercolor painting and then once it's dry go in with some pastel it's a neat neat thing to do hi sam here's sam walking with noisy little feet and then come out and then we'll go in with this a little more intense color and a little highlight I guess it'd be low light, but not since it's a darker color. And you just take your little, little stump and blend it. There we go. Those are done. Sorry for my reach once again. Then, so what's this one going to say? Best wishes. Yes, I haven't used best, best wishes yet. Best wishes. These stamps, I will tell you, they stamped well right out of the gate. I'm going to do a little test run. Yeah. Hero Arts is pretty awesome. Best wishes right here. Oh, yeah. What is it about a teeny tiny typewriter font that just, font that just makes me happy? Okay, I think we have time for a little glitter. Let's go. a little gold and a little copper
this called? Oh yeah, they just released three new stipples colors, by the way. You know it'll be coming to live at my house. Get a little stringy string there. Get that out of there. All right. I think they're done. Let's stop the timer. Well, it was a good effort. <laughs> uh, so, two and 25. Not two and 20. But cute little cards. So we used this lovely little Hero Arts Hero Florals set and a couple of Distress Inks. Really simple. And a little, just a tiny bit of pastel pencil, just to add a little bit of color. And there we go. I hope you like these cards and uh, we'll try for 20 again next week. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.